Heaven's California guys what is going on welcome back to another video and today is Sunday which means it is subscriber Sunday and I didn't really have anything special planned you know I didn't really have anything particular to talk about that would fill a 10 to 15 20 minute video so I just titled the video let's have a chat so we're gonna have a chat about what's going on and stuff that I've been doing and stuff so the first thing I want to talk about is obviously something that is coming up very very quickly uh, on Tuesday, it is going to be the FIFA World Cup mode um, that comes to FIFA, which means that I will be having a lot of FIFA World Cup mode content on the channel, so keep an eye out for that. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about, which is actually requested on Saraha or Sahara, Saraha, whatever it's called, um, yesterday that said, what series of 13 reasons why do you think is better? And I did actually want to have a talk about that on this video for five or so minutes. So, um, obviously, uh, season two of 13 reasons why has just come out uh, a week ago, and I have now finished watching it. I finished watching it on Friday, I think. Uh, so it only took me a week to get through it, bearing in mind I didn't have Netflix for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I watched most of it over the weekend and on the first Friday it came out. I think I watched a good six or seven hours on the Friday, just had it on in the background. In terms of what in terms of what season I enjoyed the most, I mean, is it a show that you can really... It feels bad, or say it feels weird saying that you enjoyed the show, because it's not really a show you should enjoy. It was an eye-opening show, 100%. It's, something, it's a show that everyone can relate to. And I think in terms of relating to, the first season was very much focused on, you know, Hannah and her story and her 13 reasons why she did, sadly, take her own life and commit suicide. The second season kind of follows on from that with, um, obviously, the court hearing and stuff, you know, the, the, the legal battle, the school versus the bakers, the bakers trying to say the school was responsible. And the score defending saying, well, actually, it's just society and parents that were responsible for that. And uh, obviously, I won't say what actually wins in the first place. Well, I mean, if anyone was asking the question, then, you know, I'll give you a chance now to, like, skip ahead a bit of the time. Um, because I will be, obviously, there will be stuff that I'm talking about here that you might not have seen yet. So I'll give you a chance. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two... One, okay, that's enough time. Um, obviously, the Bakers do lose the trial case and, um, you know, the the school get away with it. And, you know, we there's other stories, you know, you hear other people's perspective of the story. You hear, obviously, there's the, the whole stuff going around with Bryce, him being a rapist, a character that I really do hate from all TV shows. I think he's one of the most hated ones that I've ever had. Obviously we have the story with Jess, we have the story with Tyler, we have the story with Alex. There's a lot of stories that go on and a lot of stuff that people can relate to. Me personally, uh, there was a few things I could relate to there. A lot of things that people could relate to and a lot of stuff that is is very true. Um, you know, there is a lot of stuff that, that is true and a lot of stuff that is very relatable for a lot of people. Um, Obviously, there's stuff that maybe people could have done better, but, you know, I think it does portray a few things, you know, uh, a lot of things with bullying and stuff within school. School is rife for bullying, and a lot of these schools say, oh, there's, uh, we have zero tolerance and stuff, and, you know, zero tolerance on bullying. A school is never fully aware of how much bullying is actually taking place. And not every student will, they're, they're, every student in school will see something that they probably should have reported, but they can't because of a school hierarchy. You know, there'll always be groups in school, the group that are at the top of the king and they, the top of the mountain, they basically can do or say anything and no one will do anything. Then you have like the middle people who mix with the people who aren't so popular and mix with the people who are popular. Then you have the people at the bottom who basically treated like crap. Um. Now, obviously, it, it's a lot harder standing up if you're at the lower uh, lower part of the school or lower part of the year in terms of the top part of the year. It's a lot lower to stand up to them and 
a lot of them found out. You know, Clay and uh, Tyler both found out that you, you you pick a fight with people that you just don't have the backup on, and the school can't protect you. You know, the school schools physically cannot protect you 24/7 a day. They can only really protect you throughout school hours. You know, so that's why a lot of people probably they don't stick up to to bullying and stuff, and they don't tell schools about bullying because it is that 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 fear factor from from students who you know they just can't bring it to themselves and they're you know, it, it kind of just made me realise that the world probably doesn't have enough of honest, you know, caring, people who want to listen type of people. And I'm just fortunate enough that I kind of fit into one of them categories. You know, for anyone who is wanting to talk or anyone who want, needs someone to listen or needs someone to, you know, whatever, listen, offer advice you know, just a, a friendly face, I'm kind of there, so, yeah, so 13 Reasons is is an eye-opening uh, show, there is an extreme scene in the second season, which some people may find hard to watch, it's in the last episode, and it is around the 40 minute mark, I think, um, it's when Tyler's in the toilet, I won't say too much about other, too much other about it, but if you get to that scene, and you don't want to watch it, then I would pre-warn you it is a tough scene to watch and uh, obviously there are helplines out there and stuff if you feel or you yourself are ever having a, a downtime or you are having anything feelings like that then please do talk to someone because there are people out there who do care and do want to listen and do want to help but enough of that uh, another story again last night we had uh, in the UK some great thunderstorms you know they were some some really good ones. There was one clap of thunder must have been here about half one. Actually woke me up and the, actually shook the house. So we actually had to unplug the aerial because of all the, the lightning and stuff. You know, if lightning hits your aerial, it basically fries everything connected to it. So, um, yeah, that's about it for that. Other stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, there's some stuff on the Sahara the, or Saraha that's been going about uh, the last couple of days obviously I like you guys to get involved and I like you guys to, to have an opinion and I like you guys to, to to get involved with the channel because you know I feel that as a channel you guys make the channel as long as I do you know I make the videos but you guys watch the videos it kind of if I don't make the videos you can't watch them and you know if I make videos and you're not watching them then you know both, both of us you and myself right now have a connection where I upload something you watch it if I upload something you don't like you don't watch it if I don't upload anything you can't watch it so you know I like to get I like to keep the fans involved and one of the ways I do that is through snapchat and it is through Saraha where people can post comments anonymously which some people would say is bad for me but you know what I've just kind of grown up to just stop listening to other people's opinions and you know kind of just rely on my own opinion um, because that's just kind of how I how I live life, but I'm gonna get down to to some of the stuff here that was left. Um, let's see. Uh, someone there said, "Give your opinion on 13 reasons why and compare it to the first one. Which one you think is best?" I think as a message, the the second one is definitely better. You know, it focuses in on you know Bryce being the rapist, and that story continues with Chloe, one of the new characters, and you know the. Tyler's story where he's trying to fit in and he gets in with kind of the wrong he gets in with the, some nice people and you know has an embarrassing moment and falls up with them and then you're kind of left on your own with this big battle the others ditch him and then he kind of gets screwed over and stuff like that um, someone said how old are you? I'm 19 I had my birthday a couple of weeks ago would have been two and a, two and a bit weeks ago um, yeah, I am 19. Someone said Netflix or YouTube. Now, this is something that I was having a conversation with uh, with someone. They said, uh, I obviously said YouTube, and they said, why YouTube is crap, Netflix is way better. But I said, the majority, if not all of the shows on Netflix, you can watch elsewhere online. You'll be surprised why you can watch things online for absolutely free. And they said it's not in HD. It is in HD. And that is why there's such a big pressure on these online streaming services like Netflix and Amazon and 
Now TV, you can basically go online, type in the show you want, type in online free, and there'll be something up. You know, I do it in an incognito tab because I'm not sure there's some ads that come up that are quite questionable, but you know, you can delete your history. Um, but definitely, YouTube for me is kind of more. You can't find YouTube content elsewhere on the internet, whereas the stuff I watch on uh, Netflix, you know, I watched half of, well, I watched a good, what, one, two, four episodes of 13 Reasons Why Season 2 on one, two, three movies, just because our Netflix subscription ran out and we didn't have the money in our accounts to pay for it until the Friday. Um, and then I think I said what annoys people the most about the world. I think one of the things that most annoys me, people, about the world is bullies. I think bullying, you know, there's a there's a big thing that one of my main passions in life if I was to support a charity, it wouldn't be a cancer charity, it would probably be like a bullying charity or a healthy mind charity. Because I think, you know, bullies, they can bully, there's a lot of bullying tech ways people get bullied, you know, they can be bullied physically, mentally, um, you know, verbally, they're psychological bullying, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with bullying. And I think it's it, it's definitely important that, you know, schools try and cover as much as they can with bullying and make sure they have got someone that kids can go, you know, for someone who's had been picked on in previous years, I think that's just something that really does annoy me about some people who, you know, they just go around bullying people who've done absolutely nothing to them just because they're the quiet kid or they're the ugly kid or they're the the kid that doesn't fit into society, like going out and drinking, or going out and getting pissed, or going out and getting drunk, going out and smoking weed, you know, the kid that sits there and, you know, stays home and plays his Xbox at night with his mates, you know, they're the, they're the kind of kids that will to get picked on, because they don't fit in with these social trends, I don't, don't like that. Um, someone said Ed Sheeran annoys them the most, you know what, too much Ed Sheeran does grate me like a bloody cheese grater. Someone said, what knows them the most is when gang doesn't go where gang goes. I wasn't too sure that meant, you know, I'm not too aware of all these street terms. Uh, someone said, when girls chat you up. I mean, I don't know why, why would that annoy you unless you're, unless you're a girl who isn't into girls or a guy who's already got a girl. I mean, not that I can really say too much because I've never been chatted up, I mean... Yeah, it wasn't really no, didn't really know what to say about that. Someone said, how's your secret admirer? You know what? The, uh, the Sahara secret, or the Sahara secret admirer, I haven't heard of them in a long time. Probably a hoax. As I said, it's a wind up. Probably someone playing a sick prank, because they've got nothing else better to do. Which is great. Uh, someone says, uh, someone asked Liverpool or Real Madrid. I'm uh, pretty sure I said Liverpool. Uh, that game, obviously the UCL final. Um, Salah going off injured, you know, I felt for the guy, and a lot of, I was getting a bit of hate last night when I said, you know what, I'm rooting for Liverpool, they'd say, they said, uh, he said, if you're a United fan that wanted Liverpool to win, I'm quite disgusted, a la Madrid. Um, I, I don't, you know, there's, there's being a football fan and there's being a football fan. I follow Manchester United, but I'm not going to say I hate everyone who's had a connection to Liverpool or I hate everyone who's had a connection to City or Chelsea or stuff like that, you know, or Arsenal or Spurs. You know, were Manchester United fans hating on Matic because he'd been playing for, for Manchester United or, you know, when Michael Owen came in, were people pissed off because he'd played for... For Liverpool, you know, for, for me as a football fan, I do have some mutual respect. You know, as an England, as a, a fellow English citizen, it would do a lot for English football if we had a Champions League winner that was English, you know. And yes, it's great, they say, oh yeah, but you get to see a triple UCL champion. Real Madrid, Ala Madrid, Great Madrid. I'm not a great fan of Real Madrid, you know, I prefer Barcelona, I just think... Barcelona have a better style of football, you know, I'm, I'm not the greatest fan of, you know, people always say Ronaldo and Messi, I always say Messi, because, I, I, I don't know, there's something that, I don't really have that connection to Real Madrid, and, you know, say what you want, uh, if I wanted Liverpool to win, why, why is that a problem, you know, yes, on a match day, if it's Liverpool versus Manchester United, obviously I wouldn't say, oh yeah, I want Liverpool to win, but, in a European circumstance where going into a match, I'm not supporting Liverpool, I'm not a Liverpool fan, and I'm not a Real Madrid fan, so 
kind of means I can support who I want. Didn't quite know what was wrong with that. Someone said, if your channel got big, would you have it as a full-time job? Um, the answer to that would be yes. Obviously, right now, uh, I'm actually in the middle of applying for apprenticeship and hopefully getting that position sorted uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, but if, you know, three or four years down the line, I was at a reasonable amount of subscribers and, you know, I, I sat down and said, you know what, I could live off this wage and I could live with that and, you know, th I would definitely go and do that because then I could put more time into making videos for you guys, I could put more effort into editing, I could spend more time, you know, possibly even going down the Twitch route as well. You know, there's a, there's a whole lot of opportunities that open up. You know, you can do YouTube and work at the same time. But obviously, if you just put all your time into YouTube, you'll obviously get a better end result. Um, obviously, I'm not spending all my time into YouTube right now. As I said, YouTube for me, each day takes two, three hours max. You know, recording the video, right now my videos take no longer than half an hour, 40 minutes to record. The editing really is very minimal because there isn't really much to edit. And then, obviously, then the uploading, I can do whatever when uploading the video. It doesn't take... I don't have to sit there waiting for it to upload. I can do other things. You know, I can go out and wait for a video to upload. That doesn't really do much. That doesn't really affect me too much. So, if my channel did, did were to get big, would I take it on as a full-time investment? Yes, I would do. Uh, someone said top three series TV shows of all time. Pretty sure I said number one Big Bang Theory. If you don't like Big Bang Theory, then what the hell are you doing? I, I, I love the Big Bang Theory. I thought... I've seen every episode, it's a great series, you know, had me in stitches, some of it. I went for a stage, I think it was around... Whenever I realised that the whole of Big Bang Theory, or apart from the most recent seasons on Netflix, I sit there and I watched it all, you know, 20 minutes, I could watch three in an hour. I'd just, I'd just have it on the TV, you know. I would just have it on the TV and I got through it in about a month or so, which was really, really good. Um, I don't really watch many TV series, you know, that was, I could sit there and I said, oh yeah, that was great. So I actually related it back to, I think it was, there was a series that I watched as a child, Beyblade, it was on TV. Just rewatched that again, that was a great series. And also Outnumbered when that was on, that was, just rewatched that on Netflix as well. Holy damn, that was a good show as well. So that's what I said for that. Someone said, uh, not going to read that. Anything that isn't directly a question, I'm not going to really read. Uh, someone said, there's a high, there's a huge rivalry between United and Liverpool. I'd never want my rivals to win personally. And the chance to witness history with Real winning three in a row. I mean, does it really matter? Football is football. There's more things to get hep up about than football. I don't get people who start raging and stuff about football, it's a sport, things happen, if you win, great, if you lose, yeah, it's a little bit, ugh, but it's no need to, you know, you're not the player, you're not the manager, you're just a fan, sat at home, you know, you don't really have too much of an involvement to get angry about, someone actually said, go to a gym or start a diet, and then there was a huge, huge rant about that, you know, uh, I'll read some of it out, someone that you said, they went on to say, someone said, oh, he doesn't, someone said, he doesn't need to go to the gym, he does... He, he works out in home stuff and goes for walks and he also eats healthily, so shut the fuck up, you dirty human being. You know, we're not here for the hatred. We're not here for hatred. Um, someone said, what, did that actually upset you? You know what? It didn't upset me because I have, like, a, a big barrier that just insults bounce off of because I really don't care. But the thing about life is there's some people where that would upset. You know, you go up to someone and you said, oh, my God, you need to go to a gym or, oh, my God, you need to diet. That can upset some people, and you know, some people, they, they, they just don't think, and, you know, I am fully aware that the bigger you get on the internet, the bigger target you have on your back, and on your head, and on your arms, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, that people can just throw stuff at you, but you need to focus on the positive things and not the, the negative things, so that's what I'm trying to do. Someone said, in all fairness, you have a lot of spare time, which allows you to upload consistently. Again, I, I'm just not quite sure people get how YouTube works. As you can tell by the level of editing in my videos and stuff, it does not take me a long time to put together a video each day. It doesn't take me a long time. 
and he said, why not split that time, and, or they said, why not split that time and go to the gym? What is this huge big thing where if you don't go to the gym, you're considered unhealthy? You don't go to the gym. You know, the gym is expensive. It's an expensive membership each month. You know, it's like 30, 40 pound a month. To do what? You go and run on a bike. You go and lift a weight. You go and run on a treadmill. You know, you might have a, a trainer there or something. As long as you're happy or content with the way you are, then don't let other people change you, you know. I won't let a fan change me, a family member change me, a potential girlfriend change me. If a girl came up to me and said, yo, you know, you're, like, you're a great guy, but I want you to lose three stone, otherwise I'm not going to date you, I'd just look at and go, okay, bye-bye, and I'll send them packing. You know, get the heck out, get the fuck out. Um, and then there was loads of people that, people, someone backing me up, you know, thank you, but... You know, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight them. You know, I don't want to get into a, a thing with them. Someone said, David, the recommendations surrounding doing something such as going to the gym are made because it will make you happier. But how do you know it will make me happier? Nobody knows what will make you happy. Nobody knows what will make other people happy. Only the person themselves. If I wanted to go to a gym, I'd go and go to a gym. But I'm quite happy doing my weights every other day and just keeping myself toned. Not eating in moderation is something I do already, so I'm happy, you know, I'm happy that you guys are concerned to me, but there really is no need, no reason to be concerned. Um, someone said a happy life is untenable because it's so hard to reach. Live a meaningful life, that's how you suffer less. Actually, there are a lot of things that are meaningful. Maintaining health, working, volunteering, building new relationships, self-educating. YouTubing is not one of them, it's a hobby which you may want to consider doing more in moderation. So basically, what this person is saying is, well, actually, I mean, they can't be a very big fan, which I'm fine with, you know. If you don't like the videos, I'm not telling you to come and watch them. I don't promote the heck out of them on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook like I used to, because we're maintaining a good enough fan base right now. Um, but, I mean, what I got from that is people don't think I go to... Uh, people don't think I have a good health while I'm healthy. You know, I've never... have haven't been... A trip to the doctors in a few years, which is fine. Working, I'm getting on to that. Volunteering, not really for me. Building new relationships, I meet new people online, playing Xbox. I meet people, I have people across this country who I've never met, you know, one to one, but I still talk to them on a daily basis. Self-educating, I'm learning stuff from YouTube. Is that a problem? I don't think so. And then that was, that was basically it. They, they shut up then, so... um. Yeah, it's been all fun and games on Saraha recently. Um, you know, there's, as I say, there's nothing I love more than replying to your comments and replying to your suggestions, but, you know, the bad ones, people say, oh, ignore the bad ones. Actually, I want to acknowledge the bad ones because they obviously have a bone to pick, and if, I've, if you have a bone to pick with me, then come and pick the bone, but this bone ain't got nothing to give. You know, I'm not going to sit there and start posting crying emojis and going, oh, no replies, you know, I'm so upset and ask for loads of attention because I'm not going to. You know, that's not me. If you don't like me, that's fine. You don't need to have me on Snapchat. You know, delete me on Snapchat, block me on Snapchat. You know, you're going to do it behind Sabraha because it's anonymous. You know, if you have that big a problem with me, I'd rather you come and say it to my face and I go, you know what, that's fine. Let's just call it a truce. You know what, if you don't like me, then we'll just unfriend each other and that's the end of it. But, that is where we are going to end this sub Sunday, then next week will be, uh, what's the date today, is it the 24th, so we'll have another week, then we'll have another Q&A, so, uh, not next week, but the one after, we, we'll get the, the Q&A questions back, and we'll have another, we'll have another Q&A, but that's going to be it, if you did enjoy, please remember to drop a like on the video, it does help the video so, so much. Uh, drop a comment down below as well, you know, if you have anything to say, any questions or anything, you know, let me know in the comment section or on any of my social media platforms and I'll be sure to get around to answering it. If you're around here, we're very, 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 very in touching distance to 300 subscribers and when I hit that, I'll be very, very happy. So if you are watching the video and you are not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications because YouTube's done this thing now where... It'll put your videos that it thinks you most want to watch. It'll push the bigger channels to the front of your subscri subscription box. So if you don't want to miss a video, turn on the notifications. It's as simple as that. 
But um, yeah, that's where we're going to end it. Stay safe, stay happy, stay awesome. I've been David. This has been Subscriber Sunday, and hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. Goodbye.